I have two summer fun pages I want to put in my journal. And one is about mushrooms. There's not too many different kinds of mushrooms around early in the season, but I always see these little brown ones on the lawn. I'm not sure what they are. I turned one over and you can see on the underside of the cap that this one does have gills and that's an identifying feature. And this is just the fruiting body of the mushroom. The organism itself is a mycelium that runs under the ground. So if you pick the mushroom, you're not killing the organism. The organism is down in the ground. This is just a little thing that pops up for reproduction. So that's gonna be a fun summer page. And the other one is going to be about the birdhouse. Okay, two true stories about this birdhouse right here. One, when I saw Mama and Papa run, going back and forth with sticks and little twigs and things, I saw him land on this pussy willow tree and was pecking away at this pink ribbon that I put on the tree. And that was to denote that this is something that we planted last year. So I came outside and I put these little tiny pieces of yarn on here. So I thought maybe that would be easier for the little bird to carry into his nest and use it as a lining. But the bird is really small and I may have made these too big. And the second true story has to do with the nest that's inside this little bird house. And out my kitchen window, I watched these little house wrens so busy at work all day long, bringing little sticks and twigs into the little house to build a nest inside. And then one day, Mr. Possum came back in the house and he said, oh, you know, those birds, they built their nest so thick, they couldn't get in their little house. So I helped them out and I cleaned out the house for them. I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, they can go in and out. I watched them go in and out. He said, no, they couldn't get in there. So I took some of those sticks out. I'm like, oh, poor things. They worked so hard in building that nest and you went out there and took it apart. So then I watched them a few more days, build it back up again. I think it must be like some kind of protection right at the door of their house. See all those sticks inside there? It probably protects them from some kind of predators. But the wrens are so small, they can get in and out. They don't have a problem with that. So anyway, now the mama and papa are busy going in and out, in and out. I wonder if there's babies in there. I don't hear them. But I'll come back tomorrow and check on it. Right now they're twittering at me. They want me to leave the house. So I'll move away. So my journal is getting a little chunky. It's a little bit more than half done. And every page is completely different. I love it. The last one I did, I might add something here, I'm not sure. The last one I did was uh, about my grandfather, kind of a Father's Day spread. A little bit antique looking. And so this is going to be a fun summer spread. So I need a background to tell the story about the house wrens making a home in the house that I bought. I think it was three dollars at a yard sale. And then I need a background for just a crazy summer mushroom picture. Okay, this is one of those calendar posters. This artwork is by Dana Haycock, and I got a whole bunch of these uh, calendar posters at a yard sale. A big stack of them for very cheap. And they have awesome pictures. So I'm going to use this one about the birdhouses. 
I think for a background, I'll have to cut this down to size. Even though it says May, that doesn't matter. And then somehow get my story on the page too. Or I can cut these out. This looks like the birdhouse in the yard, doesn't it? They all do, kind of. This one's bigger, though. Okay, now I'm going to find something for my mushrooms. Well, I was looking at some different papers that I have, but these are very old, 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 old papers. I thought they might be a background. But then I was thinking about my Edith Holden book. And I might do one that has June and toadstools. Hmm. And then I found a picture of the little wren, and he looks like he's yelling. I could fussy cut him out and put the little birdhouse. So I'm kind of mixing Edith Holden with a photograph with a gouache painting. And I'm thinking to myself, why not? Right? I like the green one. Why not? Why not? Why not? And then for the mushrooms, hmm. make a mushroom here, do my journaling on, and just put it on top of the page. Ah, so many decisions to make. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's work on one page at a time. So, let's see. For June. Okay, I'm going to cut out some things and arrange them on the page and give them a little bit of an audition. Okay, I cut out the wren and I love this because it looks like he's scolding me for peeking into the birdhouse. And I left some of the background so I can cover up this bird which is a willow warbler. But that's a UK bird and I'm not in the UK. So I'm gonna cover it up with my house wren and then I'm going to put the little birdhouse that I cut out. I'm going to put that over where it says Willow Warbler. And then when I get this all glued down and in place, I can do my journaling around the bird, I think, right? What else would I want to put on this page? Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to put anything else. Sometimes nature journaling pages, you don't add a lot of extra stuff because you want to tell a story. But I might wind up putting a butterfly or something up here. I could do that. I love these little pink roses here. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna glue these in and think about if there's anything else I wanna add. Look what I found, another little house wren that might be just the right size to put, to put on this little house here. I'm gonna cut this out and see how that looks. Otherwise, I got these three things glued down, waiting for that to dry. I did all of my journaling on the page, told the whole story of Mr. Possum emptying out the birdhouse. And I got my little bird down there. So I got my two wrens. And I was thinking about adding a butterfly and I have these wonderful sort of vintage looking die cuts that Dolores gave me. 
and there were some butterflies in here. That one's kind of big. Let's see. Do I have any little ones? This one's a little smaller. I don't want to cover up all the flowers. Well, these are wonderful, but they're a little big, so I'm going to go look for something a little bit smaller. Well, I must have more butterflies than anything. So many that I just put them together in this bag. And I believe these are all butterflies except for some uh, ladybugs. So this style is definitely out. And this craft style might look okay. Actually, that's kind of a nice color for that, isn't it? And that'll add a little sparkle to the page. Or a little bling bling to the page, like the pink one. All right, so that's a possibility. And here's some more. And these look like they're on corrugated cardboard. But that might work. Add a little dimension. Here's some more of these. And let's see. Oh, here's some three-dimensional ones. These are nice colors too. A little bit of orange there would go with a little bit of orange on the birdhouse. That might be nice. All right, we've got lots of possibilities here. I don't think that one. Green one, eh, I got a lot of green on there already. Okay, I'm saving these pieces of plastic to make flying butterflies, but I'm not going to put one on this page. Oh, and these were given to me. But really no blue on this page, and I think these are all blue. These are die cuts. They're beautiful. I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree. So these were gifted to me. This one kind of matches the edge of the paper, though. Hmm, it's going to be a hard decision. A hard decision. That's the same as that one. That's kind of pretty, though. What else do we have? Let's see. We got purple ones. We got Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz. These are kind of translucent. Let's see what colors we got here. Um, let's see. That's too big. Here's a pretty little one. That's kind of see-through there. I like one with a little bit of color. Maybe more color than that. No, 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 too big, too green, a little one, all right, let me get these out of the way, how does that look, oh, it's kind of cute right up there, doesn't take up too much room, it doesn't have bling bling on it, but it is shiny, so, do we want that one, or that one, three-dimensional, or this one? Hmm, I don't know, I'm kind of going with this one right now. Nice and orange, compliment the little orange birdhouse down there. And there's my bird clock, and I don't even have to look at that. That's the morning dove. So let's just put a little touch of glue on that one. We have morning doves. They're always in the lane. We have a dirt lane that goes out to another road. 
and they're always walking around on the dirt road. Yes, okay, well, we got one page done. I'm really happy with the way the page turned out. And I might have to finish this tomorrow with the mushrooms because I'm not really sure. I mean, I like this background, but I might want to draw a mushroom and put it on there, the kind that's in our yard. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm going to end this for right now. And I just want to thank you for coming along on the little nature walk in my yard today. And I want to wish you happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.